kind of size up UConn, what you've seen from them? What, you know, well, how would you compare them to what you saw last year? Uh, I think they're a better team. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, Boatwright was such a tremendous player for him last year. And I think when I watched him on tape, he did so much for them. Uh, now you see guys like Rodney Purvis really come into his own. You see a guy like, uh, I know they added Gibbs, but Hamilton, in terms of those guys, are really flourishing, uh, doing more, uh, basically. And uh, um, uh, they're very talented. Um, I know they don't, you know, Brima, whether or not he's playing or not, but. You know, Philip Nolan did start on a national championship team, so they're, they're very experienced. Adding the kid Miller, I think, gives them another guy that can score. He's been very, very impressive looking on tape. Uh, um, you know, I, easily, I think they're a top 25 team. Uh, I, I think they're very, very, very talented and a team that, uh, you know, we got to be, we got to play at our very best to have success against. What's your read on your team right now? You bounce back from the, the two tough games with the two straight wins. Do you like mentally where they're at right now? I do. I do. I think our guys really have, have uh, you know, I said this after our East Carolina game, you know, we need to get our mojo back. And I felt like our guys really uh, have, have, have dug in and worked their tails. And then all, it, all that is, is is getting in the gym and just working hard and getting repetition. I think we've done that. And, uh, you know, Obviously, we didn't shoot the ball great against East Carolina, but we came back and uh, uh, on the road at Tulane and uh, played extremely well. The way you guys shot the ball against Tulane, it's more than just getting up shots. And I mean, these guys get up shots every day. The work right. that goes into getting the kind of shots that go down. Um, talk about that, how you work through some cold shooting nights. Yeah, and I think, you know, what we've hung our hats on, which is, has to be consistently, is us playing D. And then doing doing well on that end of the court, and getting stops, getting consecutive stops, and and I said this too, you know, we wanted to get the ball out of the, not getting the ball out of the net, we wanted to get the ball off the board, and uh, you know, but we we we're we're really passing the ball better, and I think that goes well with, with shooting the ball. You're getting better shots when you're when you're looking for your teammates and you're making the extra pass, and I think we're doing that a lot better. You got the win early against Wichita State. They were ranked. Uh, just purely from a resume standpoint, do you think you need another W against a ranked team like, like UConn? Oh, yeah. We, we, we're nowhere near where we want to be in terms of getting the postseason. I think when you look at our schedule, I do think we play one of the toughest schedules in our league. We're going to have great opportunities. You know, we played uh, UConn twice. We'll have – we still got another game with SMU. We played Cincinnati twice. And those are teams that are pretty much on the top of this league. And uh, – um, it's a great opportunity tomorrow. We're going to need to do well and, and have to have a chance to play in postseason. You guys won a lot of road games you know, last year, and then this group that was together did a couple years ago as well. But as tough as this league is, um, establishing a real home court advantage, it, you're playing well at home. How important is that? And we, you know, we've have, I think we got three losses already at, at home, and we've got a in order to, to get where you want to be, you got to take care of your home court, and we've got to do a better job there. And we, like I said, tomorrow is a great opportunity, um, but that's extremely important to, to, that you you play well at home and you establish a home court. Uh, you know, because winning on a road is going to be super tough. And uh, uh, but there's no question that's extremely important. You really wanted to find the right rotations. You know, do you feel like that's a lot more what you were Yeah, you know, Pat's. We we've gone to stuck with Pat in the starting lineup and, uh, and, and, you know, Pat does play, you know, the four also. Uh, and I think that's kind of helped a little bit. I mean, I, we'll see how it goes, but I thought we got good play out of Ray and Markel the other night, uh, particularly at Tulane. You know, James didn't play uh, against East Carolina, so our rotation was just true, more true uh, the other night against Tulane. And I was really encouraged by how those guys performed. And, uh, so we'll see how it goes. You know, Pat was very good, obviously, against Tulane. And, uh, um, you know, we I don't know that he'll have seven threes every night, but it, we want him to be more consistent for sure. You talked about the road ahead and the tough games coming up. But when you look at this one, it's, you know, at home, it's on ESPN2. Do you, do you have to caution against maybe the guys putting too much emphasis on one game? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. And because it, it's a long season. And uh, this is um, – you know, it's not going to – I think we just got to continue to just focus on how we've handled ourselves all year and work, worry about, you know, the task at hand and not look forward or look, you know, what's happened behind us. But stay focused on the task at hand. 
how did these tough schedule help prepare you for this play? Well, I think it, you know, there's no question, you know, I, I think our strength of schedule was 50th. I think if we looked at it already in terms of what we've done already, uh, going on a road to play to Oklahoma State or going to play Oregon State, who's a very good team out in Portland, uh, there's no question it, 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 it gets us ready for to play in a league as good as the American. You know, for games like we have tomorrow, I think this prepared us for that. When you look at guys like Shaq and the senior leadership you have, when you go through those tough, couple of tough games, Cincinnati, SMU, all that. How vital is their leadership in the locker room just to kind of keep the boat steady? There's no question. That locker room guy is extremely important to a successful team. You know, when you have that guy that's always in the locker room uh, preaching what you preach and, and keeping guys focused on, 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 like I said, the task at hand, it, 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 every championship team has that guy. And, uh, you know, Shaq has been that guy for us, and we need him to continue to be that guy. Do you see the league getting deeper top to bottom? Obviously, Houston is good and uh, yeah. Temple beat UConn. Do you, do you anticipate more respect for the league when the selection Sunday? Boy, I sure hope so. Uh, because I think this league is better than it was last year. And, I, I, you know, from top to bottom, you look at uh, guys have improved. I mean, every team is in, in this league has is, is, is improved. Um, you know, I, I would hope that we would get the kind of respect I think this league is deserve of getting, you know, four to five teams in the tournament. Caden asked you about the home court advantage and how you know important winning the games here can be. I know the fans play a large role in that. What do you expect to see tomorrow night, or what do you hope to see tomorrow night as far as they're concerned? Well, I hope to see a great crowd. I hope our, our students are back. They got back Sunday, and you know they're such an important uh, you know to our the, the energy in our building. And I hope that we get a packed section from some of our student section. But um, I think we have a good crowd. I mean, this is a you know, you're playing a, one of the best teams in your league, one of the best teams in the country, and uh, um, um, a two-year removed from winning a national championship. I'm hoping we have a, a really good crowd that's enthusiastic about watching some good basketball. This is the third time you guys are playing these guys in a year. Is it just old hat now playing UConn's no big deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. UConn's still pretty special. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, every game is a big game. And UConn, I think we played them three times last year, so it's going to be the fourth this year. So, uh-huh, so, <laughs> same, same old, same old. What would you say the mindset of the team is? I know there was that tough two-game stretch there a couple back, but now you've got two straight Ws. Mentality-wise, do you like where the team's at? Uh, definitely. Uh, mindset is just play hard every possession, uh, get rebounds, play defense. That's As of right now, we're just trying to get stops and execute on offense. So that's our mentality going to this game. You guys have been together as, as a core group for a while. Uh, what, what is this season like for you? You guys know it for State because of your last four rounds ago. Uh, very special because, like you said, our last go around. So everybody knows it's um, dwindling down. We're in conference play, so every game is just a check off your college career. So we're all trying to make the best of it, working hard, staying together, and trying to get some wins. Coach said that you're the guy that's the locker room guy, kind of the glue in the locker room to make sure that you know everybody's steady. That if times aren't exactly perfect, that you know everyone's on the same page. Is that a role that that you see yourself having? Is it something that you consciously to kind of lead the guys through the tough times? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, on teams, it's going to be arguments between people. It's going to be kind of division at times. I mean, everybody's not perfect. Everybody can't get along 24-7. So I try to be that guy to keep everyone together. And my whole life, I've just been kind of a positive guy. I try to look at the glass um, half full instead of half empty. So I just try to translate that over to my guys on the team. Now that you've been in this conference for a while, do you kind of have, have a feel for your team today kind of what's different? Oh, definitely. I mean, um, it's just definitely a step up from Conference USA and everything. So, and then once getting used to the teams, it's, we play them so much, it feels like you know their personnel and know the style of play. So you know what you got to do to win. It's just that's what makes it so tough because everybody knows everyone and everyone knows how you have to beat what you got to do to beat that team. So it's just real tough, and it's gonna be a tough battle tomorrow. The ones that y'all faced early on in conference this year, do you see how they've improved from last year? Yes, definitely. I think every team we faced this year has made great improvements um, with their teams this summer. Because, I mean, this conference, we had a lot of people come back on the same team. So, yeah, we, we definitely saw that. Uh, you know teams' personnel and their style of play. How would you break down UConn if you haven't seen this next year? Oh, UConn, um, UConn, tough team, can knock down shots, athletic, fast. So, I mean, we got to try to counter that and 
play hard and, and play within ourselves, uh, and then we see if we get a win tomorrow. What, what was the difference between the first game you played in last year and played in here? And the two games up in Hartford, what, what changed? What did they get from that? Uh, I actually, I, don't, <laughs> I, I can't really remember much of those games uh, towards like our, what we did, try to our schemes and everything. But I say the game here, uh, we had a little bit more focus the first game. Second game we went out there, we got smacked by 25. And then I don't really remember much about the, the third game. You got the W early against Wichita State, you beat Oklahoma State. Missouri State, do you feel like you need another kind of statement win? This game's going to be on ESPN2. They're in the top 25. Do you feel like you guys need another statement win? Uh, any win for us would be good right, right now. And just UConn happens to be the next team. So at any win, any team comes in here, we need it immediately. So it's no different if we're playing someone else. Why do you feel you need it immediately? I feel like we're um, – we're coming. We need to come together as a team, and every win counts. It's conference, so we're trying to win a conference championship, and it's a home game, so we want to win every game possible here in our building, and win every game possible on the road. So, how big of a role do the fans play in that? The whole home court deal. Oh, huge role. I mean, we we want to get a lot of fans here, get loud, have that home court advantage. I mean, that's for everywhere you go. It's like when we go on the road, you see a lot of people. You be real loud and. No matter what, what people say, it's kind of intimidating. But at the same time, you got to box it out. But it, they play a huge role. That's what I got to know as a player. Have you ever heard something that was yelled at you talking about being on the road? And it just made you laugh. Like maybe they're trying to intimidate you, get in your head. Yeah, but definitely. Those, <laughs> one, you know. Yeah, it's, it's been times on the road where you're like, OK, that's pretty impressive. I like that one. <laughs> so uh, I remember last year uh, at Memphis, um, I was taking a ball out and the students at uh, the student section screen, we got the better shack. <laughs> it was like you're not you're not equipment to our shack. And I thought that was pretty funny. I like that.